When in form, Janowski is one of the most feared opponents who can exist. Jose Raul Capablanca. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a spectacular chess miniature played by French chess master David Janowski. His opponent is German chess master and chess author Emil Schalop and the game was played in 1896 in Nuremberg. Janowski had a fierce attacking style, he was a sharp tactician whose games are full of sacrifices and this game is not an exception. Janowski, who had white pieces, opened up with d4 and Shalop responded with d5. By the way, I have to tell you that Janowski is also known as a very quick player. c4, we have queen's gambit and black accepted the gambited pawn, d takes c4. Knight f3, c5. Black is undermining white central pawn and I have to tell you that in here other popular alternatives are knight f6 or a6. But in our game we have c5. And after e3, we have c takes d4. He takes d4. White is showing his eagerness of playing with an isolated pawn and bishop g4. Not the strongest move, according to modern theory. Bishop e6 is considered to be the best continuation. If knight c3, then knight f6. If knight e5, then knight c6. This is how Hare Krishna and Mamedyarov played during their encounter in 2003. If knight takes c6, then b takes c6, and then if queen a4, then rook c8. This line is also from that game. But in our game, black decided to pin white's kingside knight, bishop g4. Bishop takes c4, e6, and using the absence of black's dark squared bishop, white is starting to harass black king. Queen a4 check, knight c6, and knight e5. White is not only attacking the bishop on g4, but is also intensifying the pin. And at the same time, white is leaving the pawn on d4 unprotected. But it turns out that the pawn is poisoned, although Emil Shalop naively won it. Instead of playing queen takes d4, it was better to play a6. The idea is to meet knight takes g4 with b5. If bishop takes b5, then a takes b5. And then knight g e7, this is a better continuation. Or after a6, if knight takes c6, then queen d7. But instead, we have queen takes d4, which is losing on the spot. Here comes knight takes c6, queen e4 check, bishop e3, and b takes c6. Looks like that with this queen maneuver, black managed to solve all his problems, but everything is not so easy and in his calculations, Emil Shalop missed a brilliant move by Janowski. Here Janowski developed his queenside knight with a tempo, trying to kick away the defender, but Shalop captured on g2, still keeping an eye on the c6 square and attacking the rook. But it was in here that Janowski landed a heavy punch, which totally blew apart Black's position. Let me first remove the arrows and as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Ready? Now look, if it weren't the queen on g2 which is protecting the pawn on c6, then white could simply munch the pawn, right? That's why we need to neutralize black queen and the winning move is an absolutely staggering bishop d5. White is not only blocking the long diagonal, but is also protecting the rook on h1. By the way, bishop d5 is the only winning move. In here, yes, if only bishop d5 leads to a victory. All black could do was to accept the peace sacrifice, after which the pawn on c6 finds itself unprotected and we have queen takes c6 check. King d8, well if king e7 then white knight can join the attack with a check and then white can win black rook. In our game we have king d8 but anyways white won the rook with a check. King d7, queen b7 check, king e6, queen c6 check, bishop d6 and there comes another marvelous bishop move, bishop f4. This move forced a resignation, but pay attention please, by making his last move, white is going for 
double rook sacrifice. Let's take a look what can happen if black accepts the rook sacrifices. Then once white is winning this unprotected bishop, which there was no way to protect, and then white can quickly announce a checkmate. That's why after bishop d6, once Janowski made bishop a four move, Understanding that his position is hopeless, Emil Sholop resigned. What a move, guys. But to be honest, it was not the bishop f4 move which I liked most, but the staggering bishop d5, which I simply adore. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. By the way, I can give you a hint, there is a backrank weakness and feel free to exploit it. Thanks for watching, in the end here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.